this is man-made mead. I ran into another issue, but it is all right. I often get asked the question, um, my mead has stalled, what do I do? Well, good news is, but bad news, um, I have had that happen with a recent mead. This is the September monthly mead. It's about two weeks old, and it itself has stalled. I know that because the fermentation has completely stopped, and uh, it has stopped at about 1.03. It was at 1.09 when I started the original gravity. So this still has some ways to go. The way to fix it, and I'll explain it real fast and then we're gonna do it, is I'm going to make a yeast starter. Basically, I'm going to take some, um, some honey and some water and then a new yeast packet. I used the Lalvin EC1118 yeast in this. And then uh, I'm going to uh, put those together into a like a bottle and then let that sit for about I don't know, maybe 12 to 24 hours, and then add that in here, and that should maybe kickstart the fermentation again, because I believe my yeast might have died. But the first things first, um, well, we need to get our yeast going because we're gonna rehydrate yeast to get it started. So we're gonna rehy rehydrate my yeast real fast. For this next part, we're gonna make just a little bit of must so that the yeast water has something to hold on to before it goes into the other must, which already has some alcohol content. We wanna make sure that the yeast start to thrive and then they'll go in. Simple enough, we're gonna use just this. This is a large, large wine bottle. Um, and this will be our yeast starter. Because what I've done is I've created a cap basically, the same thing like an airlock, using my airlock but using a cork. This will go on top and seal to where I can um, make sure there's no bad stuff getting in uh, while the yeast figure out their life. So, we're just gonna use a little water. We don't need to use a, do a ton of must. This is going to ultimately change the gravity of the mead, um, and that's all right. I, I'm kinda have, gonna have to deal with that for now. Um, but, I'd rather have a meat that's going, that has life, than one that uh, really doesn't, obviously. So we're just gonna do a little bit of honey, get the must. All right, so now we wait for the uh, yeast water to be done. It's gonna sit here and rehydrate for about 15 minutes, then we'll combine it all together and go from there. All right, I also wanna go ahead and rack it out of here. I don't necessarily want it sitting in here and it's got some dead yeast that it's on top of. It's still a young meat, like I said, it's only two weeks old, so um, something happened. I think that, I, I don't know exactly what happened, but I know my yeast stalled and I want it to dry out. So if you do have this problem, the simple solution is to do the yeast starter and then basically just restart the fermentation, you know? And so uh, that helps to go from there. All right, so we racked it over. I left a little bit on the bottom here, the dead yeast and just sediment. So um, this is just the, what we have left. And in a moment, we'll add the yeast water um, to the mix, and excuse me, we will, uh, in about 24 hours, we'll add the, the yeast water to the mix. All right, last part of our concoction is I just want to go ahead and combine the two the yeast water and the uh, actual must water. So, put these together. Now 
Now that these are combined in, I would say, hopefully about 24 hours, we should see some activity at least. Um, maybe quicker than that, but it's real simple. Um, this yeast starter, if you have if you have a synthetic cork, by the way, that's this works for synthetic corks and then an airlock, you can just go ahead and make yourself a wine bottle. You can make yourself an easy bottle like this. You don't have to use a whole container. So now we're going to top her off and let that sit for 24 hours and then we will um, restart. Uh, we will put this into the to the uh, uh, to my other to the mead, excuse me, and then see what happens. Okay, so it's been about 24 hours, and we're going to go ahead and take our yeast starter now for the uh, September monthly mead and put it in, and this will hopefully give the the mead another shot to go through the rest of the gravity. So it's real simple. I'm just going to go ahead and pour it in. Poured it in. Uh, I am pretty sure there's going to be some some vigorous activity over the next little bit, but I guess we're just going to find out. So now I let it sit for a little while, and uh, basically, my hope is that this is going to going to change and run through the rest of the gravity. Because while I do want the spicy and the sweet to counteract to each other, I also do want the uh, the mead to go all the way through its fermentation. So hopefully this will fix that problem. Okay, so I hope this has helped. Uh, this is a question I get a lot. It, what happens when my mead stalls? What do I do? You can make a yeast starter and hopefully that will uh, reactivate the yeast and give it another shot to go through the honey. Um, doesn't always work. It, it might work, but it's an option um, nonetheless. I would try it. I would do something to try to get your fermentation going again because this mead could be really good, but um, you know, we, I want it to go through the rest of its fermentation too and then um, you know, continue to grow. So uh, we're just going to let that sit for a while. If you have any questions, please um, let me know down below if you've had a similar situation happen before. Let me know. Let me know what you did. Uh, let all of us know so we can maybe try and make a better mead and fix, uh, fix it for next time. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I have a bunch of links down below if you want to check out my store or PayPal, my uh, Patreon, anything like that. I appreciate everything you guys do. You guys are awesome. Thank you for supporting me. Check out the links below. Ask your questions. Leave your comments and uh, leave a like, of course. And I will talk to you guys in another video. Thanks. Bye.